Hey guys, Steve here. Today I got a game in the Azuma for you, which is available for green XP, 750,000. There's the Azuma Commander as well. If you don't have that, you could consider, you know, I would typically recommend Makawa for the regular Japanese cruisers. And if you got Yamamoto laying around, you might as well consider using them for the Azuma. Because uh, it plays quite a bit differently. Uh, if you noted on the build, we had Dimitri Dewey, uh, Von Essen, uh, if you're not familiar with who Dimitri Dewey is. Uh, who increases the penetration of AP and Yamamoto as an inspiration increases penetration. Uh, so we got angles from Dimitri and raw penetration from Yamamoto. And that's because the AP on the Azuma is blistering. Now when this ship came out, I think it was a campaign ship if I remember. Kind of a trash ship. <laughs> Never got really much traction at all. It had a few fans here and there, but I was certainly not among them. Then one day... Uh, the buff gods came along and buffed everything. All right, so it went from being able to not hit the broadside of a barn to shooting lasers. Uh, the AP works magic at any range. If you got angled ships, you can consider shooting the HE. It's not bad either, but definitely want to be favoring the AP whenever possible. So here we're on a shards uh, domination mode game here. Trying to coax the destroyer over here uh, who spawned on sea to come over and play. We don't need two destroyers in the middle. That's for dang sure. Uh, you need to spread these destroyers out. If there's less than three, three or less rather, you would typically want one per cap uh, that they spawn by. But you also got to support the destroyers then, you know, if, see where they go, try and support them. So he is coming around here, uh, taking the long route, but he's going in to see. That's great. We do get a nasty shot there on the Talene, I believe. And now we got to be a little bit careful here. Iowa coming in, he's kind of guarding this lane here. And if we're not careful, we might get blasted. So we got to be aware of that. A zoom on the enemy team pops up over here. Do get the back gun on him. Skips right off though, so uh, no major damage there. Do take a little bit of a shot from Iowa. Nothing we can handle though. And once again, we're going to have one more small gap to traverse. Now, keeping an eye on C. Uh, when I was playing this, I thought it was briefly <laughs> under capture. I don't know if it I missed it watching this replay or not, but uh, we're not seeing anyone on the base at the moment. All right, we just sailed past the gap that the Iowa can come uh, flank us and right there, basically. And we need to be careful of him. Keep an eye on him. We do have the plane de uh, deployed as well, trying to keep an eye on things. But the Azuma, now the biggest threat, right? Uh, he's last seen approaching this way. If he comes around here and catches us broadside, that could be lights out. We don't want to be taking nasty shots from him. And we'll be noting here, uh, there's the plane flying around. He does spot the Azuma. Showing he's not at the back of the cap, he's relatively well angled, so we've got to take that into account. But our own uh, detection, when are we going to be spotted here? Is it, uh, well, we're getting plane spotted there by that plane, and now we're getting full spotted. And immediately when you ever see, okay, I'm being spotted with the eye icon, that means some ship has a direct line of sight with you, with you and they're within your detection ring. Okay, so looking on the map, could be someone on B, certainly, and in fact it might be, but you also got to... Uh, account for the fact that there may be a destroyer to the right of the Azuma. And in fact, there's some torpedoes. Azuma, we know, does not have torpedoes, so we do have some sort of cruiser, more likely a destroyer over here that's not being detected, but is detecting us. So we're getting a lot of information there. Uh, reading the situation when we're being detected, very important and something you need to be thinking about as you're learning to play the game. Take a shot on the Iowa there. As he noted earlier, he's a pretty big threat. Uh, get decent shots here. Azuma we can angle against. He does knock the gun. Iowa we cannot angle against. All right, so we've got to be very careful of him. We're going to send some uh, return ordnance downrange on the Azuma there. And vicious shot. Uh, get a few hits on him there. And we're trying to increase the distance, both of the Azuma, but more importantly, the Iowa. The Azuma, I can take him 1v1 at any range, is my thinking traditionally. Or at least I got a pretty good shot. But the Iowa and the Azuma piling on. Not good. Oh, fantastic. Here's the destroyer we were looking for earlier, and he's rushing our Yuka Keys. All right, well, come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I hope he's paying attention here. He's just been kind of anchored on the near side of that island trying to capture the base. Of course, it wasn't going to happen because it was uh, being contested. We're trying to get some shots on him here, and we do need to take some risks, right? We want to keep our destroyer alive. He does go down there, but he does, boom, get him in return. So, okay, if you're going to lose your destroyer, at least try and trade it. So, Acceptable result there. Uh, in fact, two uh, destroyers lost per team. Red looks like they have an extra one, uh, so we do need to take that into account. All right, Iowa coming back here. 
And I, we're going to keep testing, you know, can we get a Citadel or not? At certain ranges, definitely. At this range, it doesn't look like we can quite get there. Uh, so maybe next Salvo we'll try and aim up a little bit, get more reliable damage. Trying to angle in there once again. That was a pretty good angled uh, defensive posture, but Iowa doesn't care. Punches right through. So we got to be very careful approaching him, right? The closer we get to the Iowa, the more the advantage rests with him. All right, he has broadside, and we aim up a little bit there. We do achieve two Citadels in that Salvo, so much better result there. And we're going to need some help from our team. we got a cruiser down south, and we got another Iowa, I believe, coming around from the mid. He was on the other side of the map, but he is coming to support, and he's actually going to have a really clutch performance over here. So we need numbers, right? I can't take on a full health Azuma or half health Azuma and uh, Iowa uh, if they're both shooting us at the same time. We need to minimize who's shooting us. Okay, so we got the angle, or the island, rather, between us and the Iowa. Here's a Magami coming around to support. Ooh, Magami. Jeez, you don't want to be taking this shot. And boom! Down he goes there. Not quite enough health on that ship for a dev strike, but the Magami is down, and we do have our ship lead all of a sudden. Now we need to kind of stop, and you can see we slam on the brakes here. Don't want the Iowa to start shooting us, but the Azuma, sure, we can take this 1v1. Uh, so we're going to open up the firing angles, get all the guns here. That'll keep us steeply angled. Uh, we might take a little bit of damage here and there, but the aim point, the main turret, right? If he's going to sit there and he wants to trade AP, or even if he shoots eight or switches to HE, that's fine. Ooh, Iowa gives him the devastating strike there. Great job coming around to support. Uh, but even if we're just trading there, I'm confident we could just keep targeting his guns. Gradually, he's going to be forced to do something crazy, like get the back gun involved, in which case we could slam him in the side. So we were fine with that situation there, but great support from the Iowa, who's coming around now. He's asking for intelligence data. We're trying to provide it. We got the plane up and everything. Uh, but we also need to complete this turn. If the Iowa, oop, he's on the north side of the island now here. But if he catches his broadside, that's the game over. So we got to tighten this up here, turn towards him. Can't worry about those guns getting on target, right? You might be tempted to just slow the turn down, get the shot off, and then continue the turn. Uh, but we need to be protecting ourselves as much as we can. Yeah, we're still going to take some vicious shots, but we want to protect the Citadel. And now we finally get those front guns on. And a yeah, decent shot there. We do achieve the high caliber with it. Uh, going over 110,000 damage, and Iowa returns fire. Might as well go ahead and get this back on here because it is a race to zero HP, so we want to be doing as much damage as we safely can be doing. We don't want to be making that back on, uh, putting it in play, opening up the angle uh, too early, but when he's on his reload, go ahead and uh, open that up. So pretty good trades here. In fact, we got an HP uh, advantage on him at the moment. Just trying to point directly at him. Hope as many shots go to the sides of the ship as possible. We do take about 7k damage there. Unavoidable. Nothing we can do. Uh, trying to finish him off, though. He does. He's trying to run away. He's trying to get behind the cover. Maybe get a he uh, heal off or whatever. Let's see if we can get him off with these full salvos here. A decent shot. Nope, not quite there. Uh, but look at the Iowa on the map. Uh, looks like either him or the guy on B might have a pretty good uh, shot on him relatively soon. So, in fact, the Iowa does... Uh, go ahead and take him out there. So, good job. Now, it looks like we've got a commanding lead, right? We're up, uh, <laughs> what, five ships or four ships, it looks like. Uh, but you never know. And I believe they do claw back in terms of ship count, at least somewhat. So, we do want to, number one, for our own selfish scoring purposes, earning credits, XP, whatever we're trying to get, we do want to get this base that'll help our score quite a bit on a game that should already be pretty uh, good scoring. But, you never know. Let's say they kill those guys on A, they quickly flip A. Well, at that point in time, if we ignore this cap, they're actually now generating points in the lead. They get another strike or two with the destroyer or whatever, and then you can find yourself in difficult uh, positions here. So don't just sit there looking at, oh, we got way more ships than they do. Uh, that's not a reliable indicator of what's going on here. You want to be checking your team's HP, uh, the map situation, map control, who's got the controls of the caps, what's the score situation. All of this is relevant, not just ship count. So make sure we're fully evaluating the situation. I'm saying to myself, come on, Iowa, get on the cap here. You kind of earned it here uh, with the great support. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's like backing up or I think he's trying to turn into the middle, which is fine. He's saying to himself, okay, the Azuma's capturing the base. I don't have to do it, but as I was playing this, I was like, come on, grab your grab your XP, grab your points, uh, <laughs> You know, and let's get on with this thing, because we do need the support. You can see, they did wipe the A column clean, and we can have to assume now that they're going to go into A, flip that, and then 
Well, what's the situation on B? We got a cruiser going through the mid. That's one shotable. We got a battleship going all the way behind that really thick island up to the north there. Uh, he's going to take three, four, five minutes to come around that. And we got the Iowa. Well, he's trying to get in the middle, but of course, turning the Iowa around. Easier said than done. And I don't have a lot of health, you know. I don't know what the battleship situation is. He's been on the other side of the map the whole game. Haven't been paying attention to him. But you never know. If he's coming around full health, well, maybe this game's... Uh, tighter than it seems. So they are in the process of flipping A here, and we're moving in. Getting into the Azuma briefly, yeah, I'd, this is a good one to get for uh, green XP. You know, if you can, uh, if you're into the heavy cruisers, think Riga, uh, Stalingrad, ships of those, where, you know, they're pretty heavily armored. Alaska is another good one that plays similarly to this one. Uh, but big, booming AP shots, similar idea here. So Azuma, I like the ship a lot if I need some credits uh, playing Tier 7 premiums. It's one of the ships I usually throw out in the rotation. Managed to get a hit on the skein a moment ago, and we're keeping an eye on the deployment. Once again, battleship still blocked. Uh, the cruiser now going behind another line. So if we come around here, let's say the the Champagne or whatever uh, spots us, we could be in a 1v1. Looks like the Iowa probably has pretty good shots into A from his angle at this point in time. Um, but despite it being four ships on the board... This could be easily be a 1v1 or a 2v2 or a 2v1. Uh, we'll see what... We don't even really know where the champagne is. But we're moving in here, and there he is. He doesn't have much health at all. That's very good and very lucky. Uh, that means we can kind of force the issue, even if we die here. Uh, it's likely that the rest of our team can probably wipe him up. Then can they handle the destroyer? Well, that's a question as old as time, but uh, at least we got the background scoring that's been uh, holding the line for us. So... Champagne took a couple shots from our team, myself included, and he's continuing on forward. More interested in killing the destroyer if we got a shot at him. Um, so we do pop the sonar here. We don't want him squirting around this island, blasting us with a torp, blasting the Iowa, get a glorious double strike. Well, we don't want to be part of that highlight footage, so we're just making sure nothing sneaks up on us. Uh, Champagne still continues to absorb some damage. And that's fine. We're kind of more focused on the destroyer here, hoping to come around and take him off the board. All right, so the battleship's generally going to be easier for the team now if he's got the destroyer healing him. That's another issue entirely. Skane is spotted here, and he's he was backing up. Looks like he might be launching a torpedo. We'd certainly absorb a torpedo shot to kill him, right? At this point in time, we're perfectly fine trading ships. Uh, fire there, and pretty decent shot. Three hits, but not enough to kill him. And now what's going to happen here? Well, Champagne, is he ready to fire? I'm thinking he's probably not. Uh, but we go ahead and try and get the back gun. He does fire, though. He's ready to go. Back gun. Oh, we shot the island. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, so uh, Champagne, I want to kind of get a little bit of a revenge shot and a redo. And uh, we take him out there. And check this out. Torpedo blasts the skein off the board. And boom. We still got one more. Well, the champagne's not quite dead. There he's dead. All right, so that's a look at the Azuma for you guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, hey, consider subscribing. We've got lots of World of Warships coming for you all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys, and we'll see you all later. All right, peace.